Hey everybody, it's your boy DCMS here with another awesome video coming your way. Guys, I just went to go see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Guys, I was wondering if you have not seen this episode, I mean movie, save the city for later and go watch the movie. You guys have been warned. So we're really being not even in this story. I enjoy the story so much. Seeing the cast come back from the last movie is nice. And see some of the other original cast come back was even more fantastic. Seeing the secretary from the originals dressing up, suiting up. Seeing the mayor return was interesting. He's still mayor for 40 years. Around then. Dang. He still hates the Ghostbusters. He almost wants to demolish them. I'm going to take them out because what happened near the end? The final bout, basically. And then the news reports saved the Ghostbusters and the fans were cheering them on. Like a car, say what? The, the setup to get to the point where, where you want to be douche was really slow. I guess it, the final the the final bot the final fight was also really fast. Those are the only downfalls of this movie. But otherwise I enjoyed the story. Enjoyed the characters. Paul Rudd basically made me laugh in most of this movie. Especially when he started singing the Ghostbuster theme. Like, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Like that and the commercial basically from the 80s, 84. So yeah, that was interesting. Then we seen the original Firehouse back. That was nice. Mentally, a Spangler himself was also fantastic. Seeing New York taking their stuff, police department taking their stuff, and they got brand new stuff to save the world. Uh, actually seeing Spangler's granddaughter save the world again herself. With the help of his, their friends and family. Basically their family. <laughs> Paul Rudd's character is officially married to the family. Mary Spengler's daughter. And they took the Spenglers last night. So they kept it. Paul Rudd joined the Spenglers. That <laughs> was interesting. And the, so actually one of my favorite parts in this movie. Was when. Spengler's granddaughter. I can't remember her name. I does not seen it. Today, I get her by her when she said dad to Paul Rudd's character. It was wholesome for me to Gary. That was wholesome to me. Showing their bonds growing. Guys, and then the post credit scene. Seeing the marshmallow guys taking a semi trailer. I don't know. We can see if something might happen. We might get a new one. Guys, this movie was it. I enjoyed this movie. A lot of people say that was horrible. I like Way worse than Afterlife. But Afterlife was a great restart to the franchise. I gotta say. This also led up hype to Afterlife a little bit to me. Guys, this is not your opinion. This is my opinion. This is how I do it. This is my opinion. You guys can't change my opinion. This movie is getting an 8 out of 10. Straight up, the bad things I mentioned was the story uh, build up to the main story. Took for a while. And the quick, the, bo the final boss fight, it was took so quick, it was not even worth it. Yeah, but it was a great time. Seeing Spangler's granddaughter take in charge again, welcome back to the team after she got fired. This movie is really great. I recommend you guys go to watch it in the theaters if you saw the chance. Like I was able to. It just came out recently, less, the, over a week ago at today's recording. And it's day of upload, too. So, go watch it. Guys, get ready for some maybe three new ones coming. Uh, Godzilla Review. Godzilla King of Monsters and uh, Congress of Godzilla. And Dan, because I'm touching those three. I have never seen those three films. Don't hate me on it. But I'm going to be able to watch The New Empire then. Because I've seen Kong Skull Island. Guys, get ready for more awesome movie reviews coming your way soon. It's a whole bunch of movies I want to see this year. I'll see you guys in my next movie or TV show review. Adios, everybody. This is your boy, DCMS, signing out.
Ah, you.